Bangkok. I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our toppings from the cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> This show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and the dick on Nicole's head. Um, we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eichelmann's? I would. <laughs> Cis code. Because there's a bro code, but there's no written Cis code. Uh, truth or dare? Kupal people. Bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. You should watch the show. And hello again everybody and we're back! With yes, our second we episode. Are back. And not just with our second episode, but with a better cup. Yes. The permanent one. The, the permanent, permanent cup. one. This will be the <laughs> cup of two girls, one cup. Yes. So again, I'm Nicole Asensio. And I am Max Eigenman. Okay, Nicole. Before we begin, Nicole and I would like to address um, those of you, or let's say all of you, about the title of our show because some of you seem to not like it very much. Yeah. <laughs> I get, I'm, I'm, well, I'm getting mixed reactions. I mean, there's some people who are like, who think it's awesome. hilarious. Yeah. And, and then there's some people who are like, what were you guys thinking? And yeah. then there's some people who are like, I thought this was a porno. <laughs> so, no, but that's the thing. That's what makes it, that's the only thing that makes it really um, offensive to some people, I guess. It's right. only because of the video that it is. Um, named after, not necessarily named after, but because of the video that it reminds people of from way back. But in itself, it's not really that offensive. I mean, it really is two girls, Nicole and I, and our brand new cup. It, it's the classic case of, kayo naman nag eh. Yeah, so the, Have you seen the, two, the original two girls one I, cup though? Let's be honest. I, I have. You have? Twice. What? <laughs> okay, I was expecting that you have, but the twice? I watched it twice. Oh, not the level. Because, because the first time I watched it, um, I didn't get to the end. Okay. Because I was far too disgusted. So the second time around, I decided to watch the whole thing. And, it, you know, it's actually pretty bad, but... <laughs> But you know, that's why I think it's hilarious that our show is named after that particular video. Right. And well, I, I haven't watched it, to be honest. But I've heard so much about it. <laughs> no, I, I had to be told what it was. And I didn't know what it was. I do know that it involves tae. Yes. Am I right? Tae and suka. Tae and suka. And two very, very ugly girls. Although, hipo naman sila. Ah, hindi tempura. Hindi. Kasi kahit na kamay ka pangit pa rin. Eh. If you guys don't know what tempura is, please check out our first episode <laughs> and you will find out what tempura yes. is. No, well, okay. Here's my, my thing for, for the viewers. I mean, yes, we apologize to those who we've offended. Um, hashtag sorry I'm not sorry needs to die. But um, the way I see it, you have a choice. You can click the two girls one cup with the tae or you can click the two girls one with cup us. without the tae. Yes. And with us. And with us. Yeah. And for me, well, I think that the whole point of why we decided to call it that name is to tickle your curiosity, which I think actually worked. Right. And you know, you I, know? I actually got a message on my Facebook thread. I even I took a screenshot and he said, tasteless. No, tasteless. Yeah, but it's naman tasty, diba? Tapos, and then And then right after he commented <laughs> on, on the name of... Uh, right after this person commented regarding the, the name of our show, like five comments later, he's like, oh, I actually watched it. It's actually pretty good. Nicole goes, ah, tasteless, you watched it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I get, that's what I'm saying. Okay na yung tasteless, walang lasa, kesa man tasty. Kung ano man yun. <laughs> Kung ano man lang laman. Well, just so you guys know, what's inside our cup are our th <laughs> topics of the day. <laughs> yes. And we will be randomly drawing the topics and we'll be discussing through the cup. This is this is this is uh, what's in charge of how the shows go. Right. The shows go. The shows. No, the shows because we're gonna have more shows. <laughs> You're right. I like that. Yes, but yes. No, but yeah. We we actually don't know what we're gonna be talking about just yet. And this is um well, this is the cup with the topics that's gonna tell us how our show is gonna go. Yes. And once uh once in a while, we're gonna ask you guys, the viewers, what you what, think. What you would like to be inside a inside the cup that also for us to discuss yeah if you have okay, a suggestion so shall we start yes i think that i'll go first today yes went because first i went first <laughs> do it okay. <laughs> oh 
I like this. We What's start it? with the syscode entry. Oh, okay. So to review, this is our syscode notebook. notebook. Yes. And um, every week we update this with several rules that we, we think, think should be in a syscode yes. because we all know that there's a bro code, but there's not necessarily a written. Not syscode. A, yeah, not no written syscode. And we would like to be the ones to do that for you, all of the girls out there. Right. The girlfriend code. So every week we each propose a rule and mm -hmm. we ask you guys to vote. If you think that it's something that should be in the sys code, we write it down. So last week we have decided and we've gotten your votes in and you guys voted that both, both rules. Yeah, both our rules got into the sys code, which are uh, the first rule is thou shall always let a sis know when there's a problem and not do it behind her back. I really like that. I, I that gets five of my votes, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the other one was thou shall pick up a sis a sis after she falls on her ass walking on heels before <laughs> thou starts laughing <laughs> i'm guilty funny. of that one because i didn't pick her up but anyway that I was six four years times ago that night and nicole laughed at me if you fall four but, you times know, i understand I don't know. i understand which is why i decided that that should be an entry in the cisco because it's understandable how some girls would do that right but if it was us like if it was you you wouldn't want me to laugh, right? right? True, so, true. So I apologize, and at the same time, she followed rule number one. She let me know there's a problem yeah. <laughs> on the show, and you're the of you guys. And that's how it's done, ladies. <laughs> okay, so today, my entry is okay. We all know about the very, very well-known bro rule, bro code, which is ho uh, bros before hoes. Mm -hmm. First of all, we're not hoes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, so you're just not I want to. Be calling to us that. This has already been heard, uh, been said actually before, because I've heard it from many women before. But I think that I would like to say it in behalf of all the girls out there that it should be included in the sis code. Um, chicks before dicks. Yes. Walang agawan ng tite. Pwede ka naman bumili. Hindi naman kailangan magagawan. You can buy those things these <laughs> I days. Can't believe I said that. I said Tito on air. I said Tae on air. I think we're, <laughs> I think we're good. <laughs> no, but if you guys think that uh, Max's rule is something that should be in our sis code book, please comment on our Facebook page. Yes, we have one now. Yes, two girls, one cup. Number two girls, number one cup. Yeah, okay. or tweet us. Max Eigenman. Max Eigenman. Uh, Max Eigenman and at Nicole. Sancho. And tell us what you think about her rule. Okay, what about yours, Nick? My rule is well, with, with the safety problems that's been going on with public transportation here in the Philippines, I think that if you're out, you know, at night drinking and you notice that your sis is drunk, mm -hmm. I think you should abide by the rule thou shall not let my sis take a taxi or commute home drunk. I, I, I agree. Like, drive her home or take the taxi with, with her, her. Make sure she's okay and she gets through the door. Or just let her go home the next day. If, if or yeah, no let her sleep possible, over. Let her sleep over. Mm -hmm. But thou shall good... not ever let a sis go home drunk. Yeah. By herself. A, yeah, by herself in a mm -hmm. cab. Or with a, some stranger dude. So I if mean, you guys... Yeah, yeah. Or with some, stranger, with some stranger Even if he's dude. guapo. Yeah. Through that. Okay. Even if she's like, no, he's guapo naman. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, yeah, if you guys think that those two rules should be in our sis code book, please tweet us, Facebook us, and we will write it down. Yes. Okay, yes, Nick. It's your turn to pick turn? from the, our... I'm so happy about I that. know. We all agree. Really like, Asenso na tayo, di ba? So yeah. Oh wait, before I pick from the cup, can I just say that my I know my makeup's really thick today. No. <laughs> I, I, but you look great. I mean, come on, you guys. No, those of you who are watching, you have to comment on our on our on our page. Raku looks chic. amazing. No, I, so I'm, I'm not me, I, I stressing don't... out about like, oh my god, Max, I'm so sorry for the thick makeup. But, <laughs> I, mean, you I don't agree. really wear makeup this thick, but I came from a shoot, so I guess it's sort of excused if that's alright with you guys. Well, I wanted to ask you is was there ever an occasion that you thought was like some bonga occasion and you did your face pero wala pala. well well there was this one time where i didn't naman think that it was going to be a bonga occasion but um i had a shoot and mm -hmm. it was like all out like i was i had much thicker um makeup than that i had really really like layers and layers and layers of foundation because i was shooting the whole day uh -huh. and then i went to this party and it was a kind of like that type of crowd where it's like all hipster people. So they're like, you know, wearing their sneakers and they're like, you know, they're just like... And when I got there, I was literally the only one in makeup and it was so embarrassing. So what did because you do? Because when I got there, it was early pa, so everybody was sober. So like, oh, so oh, where'd you go? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and it didn't match my outfit because of course the makeup was meant for 
the outfits that I was being shot in. Mm-hmm. And I was wearing like shorts and this really pink like pambahay sando and moccasin boots. <laughs> which like, can you imagine black smoky eyes with moccasin boots? It's like, whoa. Yeah, you, you, you're like some like um, slutty hippie. <laughs> that's uso now, uh, that's festival slutty. fashion now. You know, <laughs> with all these festivals now, like the teenagers now, grab the way they dress, huh? Hey, we were once like that. That's why, but if we weren't all like that. Not all. Although no, you, like you 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 wore denim boots. I mean, I love you. Very bad. Denim. And and I I had my share of terrible. I really, I really deserve to to have been. No laughing. no no. That was my kupal moment six years ago. <laughs> anyway, watch okay. episode one. So I should Nicole. pick from this cup now, right? Right. I love it. I love how some of them are pink. I wonder yeah. what the pink ones see. Okay. Wild card. Anything goes. Anything goes. Hmm. Okay. I think that. For this one, we shall talk about what we brought up last episode about if you guys think that the selfie should die. Yes, absolutely. I completely think not. What about you? Um, I think that there's a right time and place to selfie. If you you're were... in, a, yeah, if you're in like close quarters, your house, your car, Practicing. selfie away. But then, you were telling me about, because um, you were recently at the 7107 Music Festival and mm-hmm. you were telling me about this girl who apparently had a photogra- ph- photographer's pass, right? And uh, Well, actually, I was reading the blog of okay. my friend. Um, she's, a, she's a music photographer and she's a blogger. And she wrote um, a blog because she was at the photographer's section taking snapping photos of Red Hot Chili Peppers. And, um, you know, they had their photographer's passes and they have like a certain limit of time where they're allowed to have take the front because, you know, there's there's an audience behind you, a paying audience who wants to see the stage. And um, so all the photographers were snapping away. But there was this one girl with a photographer's pass and she was selfieing like this with yeah. a band, you know, yeah, with red hot her. chili peppers in the background. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and then t- taking pictures. I can and imagine how some of the other Photographers were actually kind of annoyed to see somebody like that who actually had a pass and she was just busy taking photos of herself. Right, right. Because usually you get these passes because you're working or, you know, there's some sort of X deal going on. Yeah. That's why you're there. Maybe she had connections. Maybe she was a relative of something. I, I really don't know. In any case, it, it stirred up a lot of, you know, angry feelings. <laughs> and so my friend... I can imagine. Yeah, definitely. Especially if you're a working photographer who's paid to be there and you're, mm-hmm. you're on your feet all day and yes. whatnot. And um, so my friend wrote a blog about it and within like two minutes of it being posted, I saw it being shared like eight times. So a lot of people were, you know, giving the reaction saying, what is she doing there? So in that case, I think that there's a right time and place for the selfie yes. because I mean, yes, in concept, it is cool to have a selfie with freaking red hot yeah, chili peppers in the background. In the background. But not like five, of, like but not while you're blocking ten thousand people. people. Yes, that's true. <laughs> so yeah, that's my two cents worth. And um, we still want to ask you guys the same question: Do you think that the selfie should, should die? die? Yep. Or selfie ka lang, hashtag pag may time na kailangan mamatay, that should die. To kill it na. <laughs> <laughs> na pero I think it's slowing down. Na people don't don't use that na anymore so much now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Parang, so. parang, I mean, among the people that I actually follow, I haven't come across it, and I, I, I've never used it again <laughs> since, that, since that one godforsaken time that I actually did. I'm so sorry, but no, but, but you know what actually makes pag my time worse for me? What I think makes it worse is using a verb repetitively, repetitively, like swimming, swimming, pag my time. Text, you know, text, text, lang. Uh, text, text. That's what I, oh, you know, guilty. <laughs> I'm okay. Sorry. <laughs> Before I become Gopal of the week. <laughs> no, but that's a, you know that's another thing that we should add in the Cisco. If I am hashtagging some bullshit crap, you have to tell me that I'm being badway. Okay, vote on that, guys. If your friend is hashtagging the wrong way or hashtagging nonsense that doesn't deserve <laughs> to be online. Yes, and if, if you want to tell us like your um uh, ideas for some of those uh, social media trends and hashtags that you think should not be used anymore, you should let us know also. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Definitely. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, what's that? Truth or dare. Oh, no! Okay. I did a truth yesterday, so you have to pick truth or dare. <sighs> okay, truth. Because <laughs> I'm a scared ass. <laughs> I'm something planned for the month. Chicken. Okay, truth. Since I'm scared of like name people because of the cybercrime law, um, I'll just ask you: Who would you rather have sex with, 
Homer Simpson or Peter Griffin? Hmm. You know Peter Griffin, right? Of course I know Peter Griffin. I know him. <laughs> and why? They're almost the same person. <laughs> and why, yeah, but Homer's bald. Okay, yeah, Homer's bald. You know what? That's an interesting question. Um, in most episodes I've seen, Peter Griffin seems hornier. Yeah, he's the one who's this doesn't he? horny. Am I right? It's but true. He seems like he's, he's always... And and I mean, you know, I, I don't know if Lo- Lois always gives it to him, but for some reason, he's always horny. So I feel like that might be more exciting. Also, Homer's dick is yellow. What's so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean... Yeah, but Peter... Well, yeah, actually, that's true because Peter Griffin is actually skin-colored. He's actually yeah. white. And um, Homer, I mean, I no, no offense, penis. Homer. I, I just, I just don't know how I'd react to a yellow dick. I don't know. I'm not sure. I've never been what faced about by one. one. A pink one, cute pa yan eh. <laughs> Oh, cute, cute. Pink pair ganon kala ke. Selfie with a pink dick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh okay, Max. Truth or dare? Truth. Truth. Okay. Let's see. You lost your vagina forever. Oh my god, that's so no. It would suck, right? No, no but that's stop not the right question. There. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna stop ever. Okay. So <laughs> let's say you lost your vagina. Alright. Um, and you had to replace it with any other body part of yours except for a vagina. What would you replace your vagina with? A mouth. <laughs> ah with teeth. <laughs> so I can still take it out, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. This one's <laughs> this one's a biter. <laughs> That's a very good question. And I believe, yes, I would actually want a mouth, another mouth. So in between my legs, if I had the choice. Because I could actually take it uh, you know, in and I could give them head twice. Twice at the same time to people. <laughs> Or no? I'm sorry. <laughs> Ibang truth yata yan. <laughs> <laughs> or dare ba yan? Hi! <laughs> no, but it, it brings me to the super interesting thingy I was reading about lipstick. Okay. I mean, I'm a lipstick fan. Are you? Uh, of course. I'm okay, a makeup well, fan. What's general. your favorite lipstick brand? MAC. MAC. Uh, yeah. Ako din. MAC and... MAC and Laura, actually. Although I get Laura. my neutrals from Laura Mercier. May MAC, I get like my red tones and my purple tones and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, MAC's good with the intense stuff. Yes, yes, yeah, I like true. MAC and, and Givenchy. So um, I was reading about lipstick and how it was first invented, why it was first invented. Mm-hmm. And apparently, the first um, people who were recorded to use lipstick were the Egyptian prostitutes. And they really? would tint their I lips. Know this. this is interesting. I'm gonna face you more. <laughs> really? Because <laughs> Kanina it wasn't interesting, so you're facing me like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But seriously, it was invented by the Egyptian prostitutes um, in you know ancient uh, Egypt, and they would tint their lips like a, a dark blush color to mimic the appearance of an of aroused vagi- vagina. Are you serious? Because when the vagina is aroused, supposedly all the blood. Flow goes there, very, and, very and, interesting and the fact, color guys. changes, and that's that's why um, they created lipstick so that it would remind the men who would be getting their services that, that they are yes, oh my goodness, that they're you know entering a, a second mouth, vagina, a second vagina, just like what you wanted to replace second yours mouth with. <laughs> lipstick. Lips. Ay, maganda yun. Diba? No, and then and then you can use different shades of, of lipstick depending on what your mood is, <laughs> diba? So if you're feeling conservative and then you want to be kinky when you actually start to have sex with your date, the 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 color of your lipstick can be different. Like you can wear a nude and then when you open it, it's actually red, <laughs> diba? <laughs> Surprise! How are Surprise! you feeling today? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, let's pick another topic. <laughs> okay, 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 here. But is it my turn? I know yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's my turn. It's your turn. Okay. K, K, K. Hmm. Oh, okay, we gotta do this one together because yes, this yes. is an art and music. We can, review. we can do it now if you want. Okay, sure. Um, so Max, I heard you went to the art fair yes, that's been going I on did. the last week. Okay, that was um, that happened from uh, Wednesday until yesterday, mm-hmm. the second um, Philippine art fair, Art Fair Philippines, and it was amazing. I went three times mm-hmm. because the first time I went to the Vernissage and 
it was more of like a social thing. Like you, you know, you can't really look at art so much because you you bump into a lot of other collectors and a lot of other people who are appreciating it, and you get to you know you 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 strike up a conversation more often than you actually get to see an art piece. So I decided to go by myself no Friday. Well, I, I brought my little sister and and my cousin Miko, and I came across a lot of good pieces. Mm -hmm. And my favorite one, which I think I sent to Pico, I want to show you guys. Oh, there it is! Isn't it beautiful? So nice. Okay, this is this one is by oh, uh, awesome. by Ross Hilo, and the piece. Give me a second. It's called. I forgot the name, because I love it. I. I is it what medium is that? I think it's oil and canvas. Okay. And it's by Ross Hilo, and it's called Challenging Gravity. Well, it was a, it was a three by four a heart of painting, and it's beautiful. I saw it in, in this gallery called Paraluman Gallery, and this guy Ross Hilo. It was the first time that I had actually come across any of his works, but I have I'm very much familiar with his dad. His name is John Hilo. He's okay. one of the one of the more uh, Say superstars in the in auctions and stuff like that. Okay. So I'm very much familiar with. But this is the first time I came across Ross Hilo, and I love this piece because, well, I mean, you know that. I mean, look at my ring. Check yeah, out, guys. She loves skulls. I and love you know what? skulls. I do too. Yeah. Super love it. And when I saw this, I was like, wow, because it's so, it's so delicate. And you know, it's, it's. I mean, skulls supposedly to, to most people represent death and whatnot. But and it's me, still feminine. Yes, exactly. I love the hummingbirds flying away. And mm -hmm, wow. Mm -hmm. Sadly, it was sold when I actually came across it. How I, much did it sell for? I, I I don't know. I can't say. I mean, I when I when I when I um, inquired, it was I think uh, eighty plus grand. Wow. For, for the piece. Okay. But I don't know how much it, it sold for. But yeah. Okay. Okay. So I have a question. Like, let's say, because I don't know anything about collecting art, but let's say I want to start collecting art. How do you start? How do you begin? What's a good first investment? Well, that's the thing, Nick. For me, because I. Don't look at it as an investment thing. Mm -hmm. The best way for me and the best advice I can give anybody is if you're gonna start collecting art, you have to start with what you like. Ah, uh, okay. So that you will, so that you know the long, so that you you actually stand what you're looking at in your walls. Right. So right. if you like it, you don't mind if you have it for a long time or if you have it for a short time. So and it doesn't matter if other people like it more. It doesn't. It, it shouldn't matter to you if some other collector wants it. It should matter to you that you like it. The way it is to you, if you think it, it reflects you and that work, then you should get it. That I think is the best way to start. Okay. That's a good thing. And eventually, you know, if, if you wanna if you wanna be adventurous and who you and if if you wanna base it on, on what other people like, I mean that's up to you now. But honestly me, I get artworks based on what I like. So if you're looking at our backdrop <laughs> you notice the wall. That's actually Max's art collection. Yes, my room, a part of it, house. a part of my collection. Yeah, it's growing too. <laughs> Every year. Yes, well, it's um, mine and Norman's. My boyfriend and I collect art, but you know, yeah. So there. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, well, you and Nicole. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I, I decided to go to the art fair, and Nicole went to Seven One O Seven Music Festival. How was that? I mean. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Empire of the Sun, I totally missed it. Okay, honestly, I didn't know I was gonna be going. Okay. Like, last minute, a friend of mine uh, gave us tickets and I said, Heck, I'm so going! Red Hot Chili Peppers, yan! And of course, all the other bands, local bands were there, Radioactive Sago Project nice. was there, uh, my, my friend's band Pulso was there. Unfortunately, I missed their set because I only got there yesterday and quite late in the afternoon. However, I did get to catch the tail end of the festival with um, a lot of the foreign acts. So I can't really comment on um, the, the earlier acts as well as the first day because I wasn't there. But towards the end of the night, Man, it was packed. There were thousands and thousands of people. I mean, if you guys were there, you know this. Know. Like, I, I went in there. I, I wouldn't know. I wasn't Esther, there. I'm telling you. No, but you know what? I, I think I think there's going to be more. Because for some reason, was it, it was successful, no? Yes, yes. And you know what? There's been a lot of flack online. Like, people have been tearing down the organizers of this. I, I You know, I've, I've actually come across many articles and many comments regarding the organizers. But... You know, I mean, those people. But you know, was, those people probably still ended up going anyway. Right, and props to the organizers because they pulled it off. I yes, mean, I'm sure I, I, that's it was. I heard. I'm sure it wasn't perfect. Every every event has its hitches, but you know what? It was well attended. People spent the money to go there. I have a question. Yes. How was the bathroom situation? Because <laughs> I both. <laughs> <laughs> I have been to several uh, music festivals and 
it usually is the biggest thing, the biggest problem or the biggest hitch, as you said, in most of these festivals are the bathroom situation. So how was that? Oh, of course. Okay, you have your regular portalets, right? Yes. But at least there were portalets. Like people weren't popping a squat or anything like that. <laughs> but you see, you're talking to. I'd rather pop a squat than go to a portalette. No, be you honest. know, at, towards the yeah. end of the night, it was freaking rancid, man. You know why? Because <laughs> oh my goodness. The, the lid of the toilet. Portalet toilet was probably closed and people and it's so dark. The portalets had no light. So siguro if you know you're gonna pop a squat like that, not sit on the seat. You don't know if the lid's closed. I'm betting you anything. Some people peed on the lid and it was. Kidding, there's no light. There's, there's no about. light. You have to like pee with your your cell phone like this. So that's like, what I was doing. Right. <laughs> and it's hilarious. But you know what? Okay, you're talking to me. I've I've been. In a band and touring yes, for several yes. years, so I'm used to the portalette situation. That's why I'm saying I'm just thankful there was a portalette. But well, that's good, yeah. You didn't have to like you know, <laughs> go and dig your own well, like, hole or something. Like me, my best experience in a uh, bathroom situation in a, in an event like this is uh, actually the upcoming Malasimbo Festival, which ah, is coming this weekend. Yes, I've been going for the pa- well. There's th- this year. I think it's going to be the fourth, and I've been going for three years straight since the second one. And I have to say that out of all of the music festivals or big events that I've been to, they have the best bathroom situation that I've ever experienced. I hope that it's going to be the same this year. It's like they have a they have like a toilet seat, mm-hmm. and then they build it like a tent. Like it's pretty big, like a tent. It's huge, so you can like squat on. You can go inside with your girlfriends and squat on the floor. Oh, so it's like there. You it's have a tent, actual... like this. It's an actual oh. tent. It's not a portalette. It's an actual tent with a toilet seat in the middle. Hey, and then there are people. There are people giving you toilet paper outside. Wait, the toilet seat's embedded into the ground? Uh, no, no, no. It's like a it's like a portalet toilet okay. seat, but it it doesn't have the portalet door. It's just a seat. That's a good idea. Hey, organizers. There yeah, no, I, I really like do. it. Yeah. yeah, and and it's like a tent, like a big ones right next to each other, and they also have one because it's in a mountain, right? They have one by the entrance when you when you go down the mountain. They have one there, and then when you go to the actual place, which is like in the middle of the. It's hard to explain, but they have a lot there, like together, and they're big tents. So, honestly, I, I mean, I just eat on the on the ground. <laughs> but <laughs> no, but I had you gotta do, to do what so you gotta because, do because the, the 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 tent was big enough for me to actually do that with my girlfriends holding the light. So I I actually like that, right? And I mean, like, okay, my my I guess my tip considering the portalet situation in yeah. in many music festivals, not just seven one. Um, Wear closed shoes <laughs> because you know if you're gonna be grass, trotting and, and all that sneakers, weary, the sneakers, sneakers actually, or boots yes. or, or something that covers your yeah. your feet yeah. so that because I was really happy I was wearing boots so I could stomp around and it didn't bother me too much but I saw yeah. some people in chinelas I saw two girls in heels and I'm like girl what, what are you doing <laughs> there was this one festival I went to recently it was the EMF festival it was the um, uh, exception music festival. Anyway, it's more of like a rave. Where was it? It was in the circuit circuit uh, grounds, the the racetrack in Santa Ana. Oh, okay, Mahatia, yeah, yeah, I know where you're talking. Yeah. And um, it rained for like three hours straight. It wasn't like ambon. It wasn't rain, but it was strong enough for you. To, I mean, three hours straight, right? And so maputek, maputek talaga. And the boots that I was wearing, I had to throw away. After. They weren't your denim boots, naman. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think that was the last time it was. Terrible. I have Hashtag no denim boots. Grab it. Denim boots. I get one. Hashtag kaahiya. So there, I had to throw away my boots. But yes, wearing clothes shoes at music festivals is Absolutely. a really, really good idea. I could have played a, a game yesterday. Okay. But I didn't want to because I didn't want to be Koopal of the Week. What, what, what was the game? <laughs> Count the hippie headbands. Oh my god! Because there were so many. That's so funny. And you know, have you seen the TV show Girls? No, I haven't. It's What's so that? funny. There's this one girl, kasi who, who uh, her boyfriend had left her. Okay. And then the girl kind of dresses up like that, like with all these headbands and whatever, and like they're having good conversations. So where do you get? Anyway, it's sorry. It's it's only gonna be funny if you actually watch it. So never mind. Scratch okay. That. So guys, scratch that. Okay, count the hipster headbands. Let's continue. The, the hippie that. headbands. Count the hippie headbands. Um, count the pusods. I might have been one of them. I don't know. When I was going like this, sexy maybe. Sexy naman eh. So okay lang yan. I don't know about how sexy I looked intoxicated <laughs> last night. And and count the men in sandals. The, those Dami are the no. three wala, things. Wala no shirtless. Um, not around me. Probably in the distance. See, but at e- EMF kasi everybody was shirtless because of the rain. Even the girls. Was it worth it? I mean, Buddha Sana, if you're wearing a pretty Wait, looking. Wait, girls? Shirtless girls? Girls? And not, not the festival. EMF. 
the guys, most of them were, and the crowd was so young. Like, this is a really? young shirtless girls. What kind of a show is this? I said, like, I met so <laughs> many of them, and they were like, oh, how old are you? I was like, oh, 15. Oh, no. 15. And they were like, Freddy. Hi, and hi, if you know what I mean. They were, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Freddie Aguilar play at the festival? I'm just kidding. Respect, Freddie. We love this, you. Like, they, all, they all have this, you know, the, the new accessory now in these raves are like freaking chupete, dude. What? Freaking, um... Because you're grinding so hard on, on know, drugs? Like, they're like, and there's accessories, pa, like these chains, and then they have the chupete, like... With their shades, these freaking 16-year-old girls, like, what the? I felt so old. It's, so, it's the thing. I'm like, am I the only one in my 20s? Do you think that has something to do with the Lolita complex? Like, they, they want to appear like they look like babies? Because it's sexual to those who have that kind of fetish? That's a could whole nother be, show. Could, could be. Oh, yes, that's a whole nother topic. <laughs> but wait, okay. So there. Uh, I didn't even get to talk about Red Hot Chili Peppers. My, my statement to. being, RHCP was fucking awesome. What else I did you know. expect? But for know. me, I'm I mean the one loser. Well, the one who always brings the show is is for me. Uh, I mean, performance level wise is Flea. I mean, guitarist. Uh, the bassist, Flea. The bassist. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, if if you're gonna watch for the visual aspect, your eyes are on Flea. And and um, I I would like to make cuento that I was actually able to watch them two years ago in yeah, with, Hong Kong. With, yeah, with my brother and and Bea. Yeah, that's with right. your brother. That's why, they that's why they didn't want to watch this year now. And um, that that's time. They saw it. Well, yeah, that, that, that time that we went, 600 Filipinos actually flew to Hong Kong to watch RHCP because we never thought that they'd be playing here. Yeah. And um, uh, the, the, the lead singer, Anthony, actually greeted the Filipinos. He said, I'd like to give a shout out to all the Pinoys. See you, uh, see you guys in the Philippines soon. So I was just like, wow, this is actually going to happen, but I wonder who's going to bring them in. So I mean, props to the guys who brought them in because it, it actually happened. They put on a sick show. I mean... <laughs> It's okay, they're gonna come back, they love us. I mean, I also wanted to watch Empire of the Sun. I mean, I actually love them. Yeah, that, that was a fun set. With I their, heard, I heard. Yeah, I, I was already out by <laughs> that time. But, yes. But I mean, it, it, it was worth it. You know what, I mean, despite all the flack that's been going on online, I'm actually glad I, I got to go. Okay. Shall we? Shall we? Move on? We shall. <laughs> Is it my turn? Two girls, you know what, one cup, only, and two glasses. The reason I cut you off to end the thing is because I have nothing to say about 707 because I wasn't there. It's okay, you're going to Malasimbo. I'm I not. Am. So, you know, I am. you can tell me about I it. I go every year, but like, oh my God, can I just share? Sorry, <laughs> speaking of Malasimbo. <laughs> last year, the main act was Joss Stone, right? Yes. It was See, on, I missed that. <laughs> Grace Nono on the first night with several other um, artists, local and foreign. The second night was Jimmy Cliff, and then the third mm. was Joss Stone. Mm -hmm. Given it's a music festival, of course you're getting intoxicated, eating, taking all this, you know, everything every single day, right? So come Sunday, which was Joss Stone, it was a, a sound check. Okay. And it was taking forever, so I was like, I'm gonna nap on the grass, okay, on the grass. I was like, um, you guys wake me up when sound check is over. I didn't get up. I got up at the end of her fucking set. What? Seriously? I woke up. She wa I was like, oh, it's her now. It's her now. Thank you, everybody. I'm like, oh my gosh, you fell asleep I, on Joss Stone. And my fucking friends were like, I'm sleeping there. They're like, oh, man. picture. <laughs> <laughs> See, sleeping selfies are cool. Not if you're the one in you them. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> Apparently, and I lost. Anyway. Oh. And it's my turn, right? Yes, it's your turn. Okay, I am not going to freaking sleep this time. Yeah, you, you, you gotta know, you gotta stay awake, Sai. Si. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole has one of the most adorable laughs ever. I don't know. It depends. Because sometimes it's Koopa laughter and sometimes okay, okay. it's just. <laughs> Koopa award of the week. Oh, perfect. So I would like to give my Koopa award of the week to myself. No, I'm just kidding. I would like I to give. You can't do that. No, no. I, I don't think I'm Koopa enough. I'm, I'm like a couplet, but I'm not Koopa enough. <laughs> I'm a coupling. Coupling, yeah. yeah. Couplings. <laughs> That's a good we bar should, name. We should have a bar. Hashtag couplet. <laughs> couplet. With a TTE, like, like Smurfan. Like a female Koopa person. Anyway. <laughs> On behalf of my photographer friend who was in the photo <laughs> Pit in 7107. I would like to give my Koopal Award of the Week to the lady who was taking selfies. Respect to selfies, respect to the lady, but she was just taking them at the wrong time and place. 
That's what I think. If uh, you guys agree with me, I don't know. Me naman, I, I know I said I wouldn't give a Coupal Award to myself, but I think I deserve one for not accepting all of the offers of the VIP tickets for free for 7107. What? That's not a Coupal <laughs> Award. That's like a Kawawa Award. <laughs> Come here, I'll hug you. I'll make it better. Oh, I feel much better. <laughs> <laughs> I I uh, I don't have a couple award because I generally I actually had a very good week. Oh, good. Maybe That's to good. the person who actually bought the Ross Hyla because I super want it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can buy it from them. <laughs> no, but I wouldn't do that. Para unfair naman. He bought it from the art fair and then I'm gonna buy it. But like yeah, wala. Eh. He got it first. Eh. Good sana. Although come come to think of it, I look at naman my my space. I don't have space na talaga in my house, and I have too many skulls like this one. But my Kiko you can never have it. too many skulls. And Kiko Escora is awesome. Yes. He's an this awesome is this artist. is his, the big one. Oh, the pink one. And then this one, uh, this one, the one that apparently is the dick, the, dick, the, dick, the dick on Nicole's head. I don't see it. Can, can you, you can show you, can me? You, can you put a Nicole close up? Nicole. Oh, it's gone now. They, it's they changed it now. That was like a whole episode ago. <laughs> it's not really supposed to be a dick, but um, this is a Jigger Cruz, an earlier work during his transition phase. Anyway, uh, I don't know why we're re reviewing. Are you like house. sorry touching it like that? <laughs> Wow! <laughs> 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 oh, wait. Are we gonna? Did we cover this already? Not yet. Current events. Not, oh, not yet. yet. Okay. We have several uh, topics for current events. Um, before we get to the big one, I wanted to, to just kind of make this seeing it. Although I'm sorry, I didn't send a photo. But did you hear who's on the cover of Sports Illustrated for the 50th anniversary of the swimsuit issue of Sports Illustrated? Did no. you hear who? No. You guys are gonna freaking love this. Barbie is on the cover. Barbie the doll. As in the doll. Really? The doll. So She's on the cover of Sports Illustrated 50th anniversary swimsuit issue. Is this the first time they've had an inanimate cover girl? I think so, yes. I mean, apparently, well, I read about it and they were saying that, you know, the cover girl has to represent strength and uh, womanhood and all that stuff and sexiness and, you know, edginess. And, you know, they, they agreed, um, uh, Sports Illustrated as well as, I forget the owner of Barbie, the, his name, but... That, that she yes that, that that she represents that so, okay okay yeah and a lot of people are very angry about it apparently what do you think about it well I think that that plastic little lady looks pretty good for like the decades old she yeah is. she's she's, she about, looks pretty she's good. about seventy plus she's right? seventy old yeah, kaya mo ba yan? she's seventy the kaya ba yan ni doctor mo <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I, I guess it would elicit some mixed reactions because, you know, men kind of want to see the boobies and yes, the boobsies. That's true. That's true. And, and she's um, in her like 1950s get up, pa, these vintage bathing suits, and they really had ads all over the state saying, oh, get ready for the next cover, the swimsuit issue is coming out. And it was Barbie. And you know, I, I must say, the pictures aren't bad. They're actually very tasteful. They taste like the title of our show, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> tasty. Taste, tasty. <laughs> so there, I mean, I just wanted to say that because I thought it was a little bit bizarre in, a, in an awesome way. Oh, that's so, pretty yeah. cool. Moving on to our main topic for current events. Nicole and I wanted to discuss the now legalized, leg legalized cyber, not, well, yeah, cyber crime law. Against yeah, because libel online. Last episode, we were asking about those memes. Like, yes. sometimes they use a celebrity's face and they put a meme on it and, you know, the celebrity may or may not be aware that their faces are being used for whatever meme. I mean, anyone yes. can make a meme. It's it, You can do it with an Regarding app. Regarding so. that, I... Uh I, I you know I researched a bit and I, I you watched did your homework. I did, I did a little bit of my homework. I mean I, I can't I can't really speak too much about it because I might I may be wrong. First of all, I'm not a lawyer. I just I'm basing it on things that I've read about and heard and stuff. And I'm not exactly sure about the memes, but um, retweeting and reposting certain things said about certain celebrities or people in general, mm -hmm. you cannot be sued for that. Because okay. Because you are you have to be the original author to okay. actually. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, and. Um, it has to be written. Okay, so yeah. th that because yeah, I mean, if you need record to show, right? Yeah. So and you have like, for example, if if I and this is also something that I heard um because uh, on one of the po on another podcast that I watched, uh, they guested a lawyer and I watched the episode because I was really okay. interested to find out. And apparently, like for example, if you were gonna write something bad about me. I have to have proof that you were actually talking directly about me for me to be able to sue you. Right, right. And apparently, to, to open a case to, to, uh, to charge somebody for libel online, it's free. 
Right. You can just go to the police station and and um and report it, and it's free to do so. You don't have to pay. But for them to actually go through the process of making it into a real case, that's, that's what takes my so question. Much. Because as with all other cases, I mean, that's always the question: Will will, will the process actually go through and yes. and and resolve? There are many. The thing to say about it is that it's very vague. I mean. To what extent are you allowed to say stuff? Can you make it anonymous? But it's, it's really vague. So how can you make it into the ba? I mean, what are the grounds for that? I mean, these are. I mean, I, I'm actually asking these questions for those of you who might actually have answers to this. Maybe Nicole and I will guess a lawyer next week just to find out about it because I mean, I mean, we we we're new at this podcast thing, and now it's like freedom of speech. I'm sorry. It's um apparently some of it is not allowed anymore to be said. So, the ba for those of you who might actually know. Um, the real explanation to these things. What is the, what? How specific is it? I mean, what's the explanation behind this? How can one actually sue somebody? What should they be saying? How how bad should it be? You know what I mean? It's, right. It's very, what are the parameters yes, of yes, all exactly. these things? I mean, what I, I think the bottom line here is we all have to be a little more sensitive about the things that we're saying. I guess. Yeah. But I mean. Um, you do need proof. Anything that is said needs proof. And in my case, I've had it done to me very many times oh, where, let's say, someone dislikes me and they'll tweet something that you personally know is about you because they'll cite a specific instance of something that happened to you, but they'll omit your name. Yeah. So well, you that, that's the thing. I think that when it's like that, you can't sue. You can't. Because, because they have to have actual malice towards you and it has to be directly to you like for example if somebody says like okay i don't like the girls of i i th i think the two girls and two girls one cop are really sati or whatever blah 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 tasteless we can't yeah <laughs> we can't say we can't sue i think uh, if, if i'm not mistaken and you guys for those of you who will be watching this and not know the answer please tweet us but for those i mean i think that we can't really sue that person unless he is actually speaking about one of us specifically i think if you know what i mean it's a bit it's a bit vague it, it, it does seem it, eh? very vague so i mean i'm i'm I, i'm mixed about this also because i'm glad that it's being legalized because sometimes people just take it go, too, go far. too much yes for sure but at the same time anything that's newly legalized can be abused so there are always there are those, lots of loopholes, de right? Yeah, there are always those people on the other side of the spectrum who will find a way to, you know, you take the new law and abuse yes. it. Yes. Like Agreed. for example, I'm going to tweet later that Maxine Eigenman uses red lipstick in her in her new vagina. New vagina. In her mouth of a vagina. <laughs> red ba? Huh? Red ba? <laughs> Nino purple. Red red. Okay, Pink. red. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, yeah, I mean, like this. Just Kanina, um, someone. Yeah, there's so many trolls online, you know. Someone was on my Instagram and commenting on all of my pictures, saying that I was a tranny or something like that. <laughs> Don't worry, a lot of people say that I'm, so, I'm, I'm like a, I'm like a whale or I'm super fat. Cause I mean, I did gain a lot of weight with my second baby, and a lot of people are like, oh fuck you. Whatever, you're still sexy. But I mean, like. I was like, ang ang taba na aayos ang pangat hindi, tama? Hindi pero yung hindi yun yung pero like these people. I mean, I I really think that all these what's happening to our Okay, yeah. Are we good? Okay. Are we good? And I think the thing about they're just jealous, dude. No, I, you know what? I, I actually um, looked at the person to see if I knew them, and they had one post, and they were following one person, which was me. So. That account was my stalker, ka. <laughs> my hater. I mean, my hate. This is the thing you gotta realize about haters, because we were talking to our, our, you know, our cyber master friend, yes. and he was telling us that there are actually professional haters who are paid, paid to actually hate certain people. Right. Like if you go down on, let's say, a certain YouTube video and you scroll down the comments, yeah, there are people. Some of those people are actually paid to actually bash certain celebrities, certain. Personalities on right. television, news, or all of that. Yeah, people are actually paid to do that. It's kind of interesting. Right. Right. So I mean, you're, you're telling me get a life. Actually, they have a life, and that's, that's what they do. Life. That's yes. their life. They just hate their professional yeah, haters. Pala, no? So I it exists. About that. It exists. So anyway, how sad. if how you guys, sad. how sad? Pero what are you gonna do? You need money, yeah. diba? Yeah. 
Pero yeah, and I, I personally don't support it. But what we want to know is if you guys have any more information about the new the, the cybercrime law. Yeah, cybercrime law. How far can we go? Are Nicole and I are allowed to trash trash each other? <laughs> I know that we're probably <laughs> yeah. not allowed to poop in this cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh it's like ice cream. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, so yes, please tweet us. Um, we have yet to make a Twitter account, you guys. Coming soon. By next week, we probably have one now. But we do have our age. individual accounts. Though. Yes, we have our, um, um, at Nicole Asensio. That's an A S E. N S I O. Please yes, get that clear because a lot of people get the spelling of essential wrong. I did for like many years that I've been friends with Nicole. I thought that her last name was just like Eigenman is spelled M A N N yes, two not, N's, yes. not two G's. I got again, man. my last name with an A Y. Okay, so I we have oh space for one last topic, and I think that. Um, we should just pick it ourselves. It should be the accessory of the day because we would we are planning to make that a regular segment. Okay. So what did you bring for us today, Nicole? Um, so last week we featured our bags, right? Yes. So we had I still have it here actually. Yes, we I had the, the, yeah, the Celine the Phantom Croc stamp and the Givenchy Nightingale mm -hmm. in um, was it goat skin? Yes, goat, goat skin. Right? So this week um, I brought something which is a little more um, specialized. I had this custom made. This is a uh, python skin and cow leather. That's the belly of the python. Yeah, this is I the belly. So yes. Yeah, it's it's dyed red. It's very nice. The snake isn't really red. Uh, it's a clutch bag. Kung mawalan, magbakong pagbentangan na. Pero most probably na sa akin. Hirama na lang tayo. Cause I want I want to borrow what you brought also. And um yeah, it's it's really easy to use. You just stuff your stuff in there and then you fold it over and then you know it's, it's a clutch bag now um this is made by my friend his name is randy fabulous um, larry <laughs> or as my boyfriend says fabulous larry i have no but idea why his because his name is randy not larry he has a shop called forever randy which is in bali and so if you're ever traveling in in bali go to poppy's lane one and check him out he custom makes everything i i've got boots jackets and bags made by him and he does it really quick too like i'm talking three days for love a customized it Sakta for your vacation you go anything. there and get your I'll have him make whatever you like and by the end of your trip you get this amazing souvenir souvenir and, and it's custom made for you that's right that's great. I, like, I think i might go see him if you I, if should I go, go back see to bali. him this is in kuta uh, yes, this is in Kuta, Poppy's Lane 1, Forever Randy, Fabulous Larry, but Forever <laughs> Randy. And his prices are, are you know, they're, they're affordable and he's just an overall nice, talented guy. So yeah, this is my clutch bag from Randy. Thank you, Randy. And uh, Max, what have you got? Okay, I, I brought something that um, I came across. Ah, nice. Their shoes, okay, they're these black, they're so pretty. What, what do you Where call this are they style? from? What, what do you call this style? It's like these, these peep toe sandals. Where stilettos. are they from? Um, I got them from Gucci. Ta da! But, <laughs> no, but the reason why I, I, I wanted to bring them is because I actually got them on a major, major sale. And I was just looking through like the stores and stuff. And, and mind you, this is I don't have a lot of brands like this, huh? This is like no, but you I know. just got it because it was it's so classic. You can wear it exactly. The same, the same thing with my bag, the one that I um, I brought last week. You can dress it up. You can wear it with a nice dress, or you can wear it with like a, a very casual outfit. Like so you can even wear this with shorts. Hello. That's exactly the thing. I mean, like okay, so not everybody thinks um, it's a good idea to splurge on I shoes. I think that once in a while. If it's a classic shape that, that you will can last wear you all years, the time. Yes, that you can wear with several different kinds of outfits, I think that it's a very good and it's matte by. Yeah, I mean, and look, but I'm sure you guys would think that this is not very comfortable. But I must say, I went clubbing in these last Thursday, and I lasted for many hours. So we're the same foot size, right? Yes. You can <laughs> 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 Cisco, pang next week tayan. Okay. <laughs> So anyway, I mean, we just want to invite you guys again. If you have other topics that you would like us to discuss, discuss please. And, yes, or us. if you have stories and comments um, that would fit under the different topics that we already have, you can write them or comment them on our Facebook page, Two Girls, One Cup. Or you can tweet us at, at Nicole Asensio. As, I said it that way so that Asensio. they know this. Asensio. How do they know this spelling? Asensio. Asensio. Or at Max Eigemann. And if you have other topics, just like what Nicole said, that you would like us to discuss, do tweet us. 
and comment on our page and like it like our page yes. guys. also this accessory for the day thing this isn't gonna be all about us, us forever yes. this is also about your you guys, accessories so if there are things that you'd like to show right shoes yes. bags necklaces scarves you name it uh, please take a picture and post it on yes. our page we would love to showcase your accessories on okay. our show yay for our second episode thank you so much for tuning in you guys and we'll see you next week <laughs> The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised.